What's up, guys? I'm Chelsea Hernandez, music editor at Swagger R Us, and you're now tuned into my podcast, Time Out, where I have conversations with music related subjects about their workings in music. Hey, what's up? It's Chelsea, and I'm here with Pick the Tech. How are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for doing this. Um, you recently released Time With Me, um, and I so I kind of went back and listened to your other releases, I guess more so from like last year, um, just because I kind of felt like it was different, but I wanted to confirm. Um, yeah. And Time With Me is definitely like a whole different vibe. Um, it's just so different sonically from the other stuff that you put out. So what made you, where did that idea come from? Why did you decide to go in that direction? Um, it really, that song uh, really came out of a time when uh, I started working with this other producer, OMG. And we started just like every single night, like we were making beats and like every night we were experimenting, like we were trying new styles and stuff like that. And I would just freestyle on the beats and, uh, you know, just like try different stuff. Like we were just like trying anything. And then that's kind of how that song came about. Like uh, we found some like really nice keys and we just kind of went from there. Okay. All right. So that makes sense. I was wondering if you were kind of going to continue on in that direction with the music that you put out in the future or if that was just. Like a, no, I would say, I would say like, like I'm still like experimenting. Like I would say I'm still trying to figure out exactly what my sound is. And I feel very strongly that like my sound can be comprised of a bunch of different sounds. Like um, I'm inspired by so many different like types of music, but like as to songs similar to time with me in the future we'll see you know what I mean <laughs> okay. we'll see what happens all right that's fair uh you mentioned that you're inspired by so many different like songs and genres what are some of I guess the most influential songs that like I guess the most so the songs that have inspired you the most I mean like the song that first got me into rap ever got me to try rap and was forever by Drake. Uh, super old song, but great song. like all four of those artists on the song just kind of like, that was like very much like, wow, like these are four very unique artists doing the same thing all in the same song. Something I've never even heard before. Like I definitely want to try doing this. That, that was the song that kind of got me into it. Um, I would say, like a lot of future like inspires me like pretty sonically um and just like the kind of like atmospheric like dark trap vibe um mm -hmm. and yeah I would say like in terms of like songs and other genres I really like I really like uh Bonnie Bear like he's kind of folky oh, um yeah. it's a song called uh like Restacks and I just like the emotion within that song is something that like, like I don't really make folky music, but mm -hmm. I try to like take that feeling that I felt when listening to that song and apply it to what I make. So that's kind of how like I'm inspired by him and, and that song in particular. Okay. Yeah, listening to um, your album Ghost, it's very like, Oh, I don't want to, I feel like pop is the like completely wrong word. Maybe like it's so melodical, if that makes sense. Like it's yeah. very like, like a melodical rap sort of vibe. Um, and like the artists that you mentioned are kind of like, I guess more on the rap side than on the like melodical side. Um, so when you were making Ghost, what what would you say your inspiration was back then? Back then, I actually, it's crazy. I actually have a Spotify playlist of the songs that kind of like, like the key songs that really inspired the songs on oh. that album. Uh, but just off the top of my head, like I know there was, there was a good amount of Kanye, like new and old. 
um, I really like the way that he'll take like a style and just like kind of like flip it on its head, just make it like if it's going to be like a trap song, then just add like a crazy ending to it, like an Adam two tone with the strings at the end. That's like kind of that was definitely inspired by Kanye, how he'll kind of like just add like a dark pad at the end of a song. And it's like, oh, you kind of have this like banger. And now you're just like, wait a second, what's going on? But um, but it was definitely a lot of Kanye, um, a lot of Chance the Rapper. Uh, and yeah, I'm definitely, definitely some others, but those are, those two are probably pretty key for that project in particular. Okay. Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, I can definitely see, especially Chance the Rapper. Um, I can definitely see where that like influence comes in. Yeah. Um, sorry, go on. I was just going to say like, like for him specifically, I kind of like I kind of have like not like a super raspy voice but like it's kind of like gravelly like there's kind of like some depth to it and I always felt like chance like in terms of like how to rap like like if I were to like follow somebody um like in their style like I always felt like the way he rapped felt so natural to the way that I spoke so like from the beginning that was that's kind of why I was inspired by chance and like still am to this day, I don't even listen to him that much these days just because he hasn't been like that active, but mm-hmm. it's just, it's just kind of like inspirational in that sense. Yeah. And he's so unique too. He's, I yeah. feel like he's in a lane of his own and that's kind of, I think that's kind of why he like got so big so fast. I mean, he's so different from any other artist that yeah. came out during that time. Oh yeah. Um, so you moving on to like I guess more recent stuff you dropped the Mm -hmm. music videos for Robust and for uh Guap yeah do you plan on dropping any more music videos anytime soon um and which ones and kind of like how do you get the idea for them well I do have a music video coming out pretty soon I can't tell you too much more because I haven't announced it yet okay (laughs) But that being said, ideas for videos, they usually kind of, I usually just sit in my room with the lights off and listen to the song a bunch of times. And whatever kind of imagery comes to my head, I just write it down. And from there, I look for like aesthetic wise, like sets that kind of match like the aesthetic that I kind of like thought up of. And then I try to include like a storyline. And usually the storyline is like, inspired by something in the song it's not that the song itself has to tell a story but Mm -hmm. if there's like a line or two that reference like a specific time like whether it be like a time in my life or like just like a specific thing or like theme then like I'll take that and run with it can you sort of like give an example I guess either from guap or robust where that applies So, uh, yeah, <laughs> let me, let me think. Um, so I guess with, uh, with Robust, I said something tennis related in the song. I really can't remember what it was, um, but I think it was like uh, a reference to Serena Williams or something like that. And like, we were just like, this was a few days before, like we had the video shoot like planned um and we didn't really have any ideas and I was just sitting with my friends and uh somebody was like we got uh like we got a bunch of old like tennis rackets like retro tennis rackets um could we do something with that and we were just like yeah why not like we literally didn't have any other ideas but like we kind of ran with it for like that one section of the song and then like on top of that I have a line about like, you know, getting checks so we can't wear Adidas or whatever. Um, So like we had like pretty much like all Nike like on our outfits. So like, it's kind of like those like particular things like we decide to like highlight on. But like, that's like kind of a good way I think about like coming up with video ideas. It's just kind of like, what are the lines in the song that like 
stand out like not necessarily to people listening but like even to me because like if i make that video people are going to listen to the song and they're going to understand why i made the video but like it's so like just as long as it references something like that's what i think that's kind of what i think about okay cool um all right so i know that you said you can't really talk too much about the video that's coming out can you can you like drop any hints or like kind of talk about the theme a little bit so without the like giving too much away yeah i can i can i can i can say a few words i think uh i think the video concept is definitely a new concept for me um it's it's very much there's a storyline you know there's a there's path you follow through the uh through the video and it has to do with therapy but oh, it is a fun song so is it a song that, that you will is it a song that you've already released or is it a song that no, you planned brand new through? song oh wow okay brand so we're song, getting a new, new song video. and a new video oh nice yeah. Ooh. all right so is this all right so is it going to be along the lines of time with me sort of that vibe or will it be more like ghosts or the other like singles that you've put out in the past it's it's going to be different from all of those this was uh we kind of made this song the the environment that we made the song in was it was it was like we were uh we were in new york um i was sick uh and the guy we were trying to record with uh he had to leave so we were just kind of like in New York without anything to do. And we were just like making beats in uh, this apartment. And like, we just like passed the computer literally back and forth. We were just like messing around, came up with the song that way. Um, didn't really think about it much. And then we played it for our one friend, like, cause we had, you know, made it pretty recently. Like we were just like, oh, we'll play some music. See what you think. That was like by far his favorite one. And I was just kind of astounded, but that's kind of uh, that's kind of the roots of the song. It's definitely it's definitely a little bit different. It's a departure of what I've done before, but I think it's a really fun song. It's definitely like you know, dance, you know, good vibes. <laughs> okay, so is it more like I guess poppy or like maybe like R and B pop or R and B? I would say it's like pop rap or something. I would say it's like pop trap. Oh, okay. All right, nice. Um, do you plan on dropping like an EP or an album anytime soon? I am working on putting together potentially a project. I don't okay. know exactly what it's gonna be yet, but I've been working really hard. I've been stockpiling songs. Um, I probably have about a hundred songs to kind of like pick from so far. Oh wow. So like I'm just gonna keep adding to that and keep uh keep experimenting with different styles because as I go, I keep finding more things that I like to do in music and more like more ways mm -hmm. to grow. So yes, I'm I'm planning long term, yes, but I'm also trying to use this period to release as much music as I can and experiment and see what people enjoy and see what I like to. Okay. All right. I can respect that. Um, and I'm really excited to hear this new song. It sounds like a lot of people, you know, there are a lot of hands in the pot, but in a good way, it sounds like it kind of made something really cool. So yeah, yeah. excited to hear it. Um, do you plan on, I know a lot of artists are like gearing up for tours next year um a lot of that was like put on pause do you plan mm -hmm. on doing that going on tour at all next year I don't know about next year but we've been uh we've been trying to figure out some uh some more one-off opportunities some more one-off shows uh around like locally or yeah like I mean wherever honestly like I like I just did a show this uh like in September in Pittsburgh uh oh. 
but I live in Long Beach now. I used to live in Pittsburgh, but I went back and uh, we put on a show there. But like, I like traveling. Like I have, like, I grew up outside of Philadelphia. So like, I have a lot of friends there. Like I have a lot of people in Pittsburgh that listen to me. I have people out here that listen to me. And I did a show in Chicago once. Like I just, I like traveling like already. So like, I will go do like, you know, a single show just like for fun because I like meeting people. I like doing shows and stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where my focus is. Yeah. And if you're popping in and out of like different cities, I feel like it helps with exposure. Like even people, even the like people may not know you, they see like, Oh, this person's doing a show here. Why don't I go to this show? Like this, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, that that's, that's kind of cool though. I, I like the concept of like little one-off shows here and there instead of like a full tour it's so different yeah um are there any aside I guess from Pittsburgh and Philly um and California are there any places that you want to go like really want to go and play a show any cities uh I would love to do a show in New York um oh. I think I think that'd be really cool. I Shows still have New to York do a show. Scary. <laughs> Why scary? Are, they're New Yorkers. My parents are from New York. New Yorkers are so harsh, like and so yeah. critical. You know, I mean, well, you're from up north, so I don't know. Maybe you you got that same I'm like all that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I'm from the south. I'm softy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, nah, New York. LA I still have to do a show out in LA uh even though I live here but I just moved here so that's okay (laughs) but yeah I mean anywhere anywhere that there's people that'll come honestly cool all right well um I'm super excited to see what else you put out this year um aside from that like one song and music video are there any other singles coming I'm trying to plan a consistent line of releases. So okay. hopefully, hopefully we'll see a lot more in the near future. Okay, cool. Um, well, thank you for doing this. Is there anything else that you would like to share? Anything that you would like to plug? New song on the way, new video, just look out. Awesome. And you can also like plug your social media if you want to. Yeah, follow me on Instagram at PickPatek, P-I-C-K-P-A-T-E-K, on TikTok at not PickPatek, on, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, look me up, PickPatek. It's all PickPatek. Just search me. Look me up on Google. (laughs) Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. Thank you for listening to this episode of Time Out, and be sure to subscribe, rate, and share the podcast on Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and wherever you listen to podcasts. Also, be sure to follow us at SwaggerRS on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.